Hello friends. Uh, today we'll check about how do we convert a non-searchable document to searchable one using Letterkit application. <coughs> the very first thing what we'll see is an image which will use it. So this is an image which will use it. So I am trying to search like a name. Uh, I am unable to search. So this is uh, I cannot search a document here. I cannot search a keyword. So let's process the uh, this document. The here the very first thing is what we did is a conventional data cap workflow we did not use here. We just use like scanning and just converting from non-searchable to searchable. So, in let's see about scanning. My what we did in scan, uh, scanning from a desired location and then uh, converting uh, the pickup file, which could be let's say PDF or let's say JPEG, JPG or a beef jmp uh, to a t format <coughs> so so we scan uh, scanning source directory uh, we are pointing this location input folder the by default directory the take up directory images folder uh, and then input folder so this is where we are pointing uh, what i want my i want that my I want that my batch should contain a single application, the single document only. Then we also set like let's say image types, which could be like let's say just as said, uh, it will read the PDF, JPEG, and JPG. I can go and I can modify it like let's say other image types to include, which could be like let's say dot uh, BMP, dot GIF, and so and so save it let's say you can publish it and I'm also uh, making alone well, I mean I'm just uh, also making uh, making sure that my application will search in a subdirectory also my major input folder inside image input folder I may have a subdirectory so this is where I'm just exactly saying it right now uh, setting fast mode I uh, think a file once I do have a file with me in my batch folder I'm simply uh, removing it from a uh, scanning location so that let's say uh, the next batch won't be going uh, it will not pick the file and then scan file convert images in the convert images we have uh, mainly the two actions the two two rule level uh, uh, two rules one at the one place at the page level other set at the batch and closing level the very first level the page level uh, we have a two function that will check that will execute depending on the document image type if we have a document image of pdf the pdf uh, to tiff function will be processed if you have a document other than pdf majorly into images one the if you have a document which is of let's say any of the above listed image type then the letter function which says that images to uh, images to tiff will be processed let's go and check into pdf to tiff what we did so to uh, splitting your PDF document into T format, what we do, what we did is nothing but we created or we have used the inbuilt by default uh, the PDF document to image action. And we can find it uh, here. Go to convert, expand, and go to detecap.libraries.convert.pdf and then look and find uh, PDF document to image. This is the one. Later, uh, function which is images to PDF, image to TIFF. Image file types to convert, we just specified what we want to use, like JPEG, JPG, BM, FIG, that we have used it here. Uh, setting image monotype, and then converting those images into TIFF format. What is setting image monotype, the parameters? Uh, this is nothing but the body action, which works basically on the its uh, image monotype.
by parameter. If you use one, the, it will use the diffusion method. If you use two, it will use the half turn method. If you use three, it will use the bare method. If you use four, it will use the threshold method uh, using the threshold value uh, and the by default value is still. So we have overrided here uh, value one. The and yes, uh, we set this page level rule at the global level. Uh, other because if we have a single document content let's say single image which is non-searchable that will be page if you have a, a document which are let's say multiple pages which are non-searchable represent a document then this will be document so that's fine the conversion of a page level rule we have applied either uh, on a page type other and the document open level the global level then just use this yes and the later one if you have a document then definitely the the document images conversion will be coming to let's say different different uh, naming conventions what we want is nothing but those uh, images should be converted into as per these by default the cap document hierarchy uh, like tm pytm 01.t uh, tm pytm 02.t tm pytm 03.t and so and so on so we are just making sure that the extracted document images will also come into the takeup standard one. That doesn't come by default, that comes in some other notation one. What we use nothing but we wrote some by default uh, one action script what we wrote here. Uh, so that, that will convert it into our own data cap proprietary format for our TF images. Uh, so this is nothing but uh, copy origin to children. This is code. You can check it here. So this is the document exactly. So what is that? Nothing but this action exact actually does the copy of origin source information to the children level scan source path, so that we can read from the scan source path location and uh, like from where we pick the value and we can then further use them. So we what we did nothing but we started from a zeroth location till the one less than the total size and we have said the scan source path value by this the input the incoming scan source path location. The next information what we did is nothing but the remove source images. What it does, uh, yes, it does nothing but it starts from the your by default maximum number to the zeroth one. So by decrementing one, uh, decrementing by one every time, this actually removes your source image files if they left during your cleanup or let's say cleaning one. So this, this actually does the work in the document bursting process, document uh, cleaning process, uh, starting from the maximum number of pages to the zero location, zero page number. Next one, this is very interesting. Rename tips to standard. This is fun. What we did? First, we created a file object because we want to read uh, those the files which are in some let's say abnormal uh, fi uh, file naming convention that uh, will read it, will store into one variable, and then later what we want our new added to be a set like let's say tm uh, five times zero, then the number of file uh, page number and dot tiff. So this will get a new ID into six digit format, excluding tm and this newly created uh, document id that will copy into your source file one so this is how do we do that's why we require a file uh, system object the file object to read the file naming convention that's a file format and this will keep on doing it till we reach to the last page number and this we actually say it at uh, documents closing level what is this nothing but if let's say your image the non-searchable image is let's say only single image only single page then the it will be like let's say only main page if your non-searchable image is let's say of two uh, yeah, two pages then like the first page will be set as a main page the letter will be 20 pages for all other uh, images uh, whatever let's say input what we get if they are more than two let's say 10 if we have a document which contains 10 pages which are non-searchable 
then the first page will be main page and then later all pages followed by main page will be trending pages so that's why while creating the document hierarchy also what we created is of main page and then trending pages uh, we also have a fingerprint options enabled here so in a zoning if you see we do have a zoning depending on let's say barcode present here so that's what we do so we created one dummy barcode page on this one so if we doesn't find let's say any uh, image uh, which let's say we were unable to process it using uh, this uh, naming convention format like main page trolling page trolling page or let's say main page trolling page then will help uh, the first page of a document to be identified as a main page with the help of a barcode then uh, yeah this is the by default uh, create docs by default fine fingerprint uh, document hierarchy is by default recognize is very important recognize page the by default recognize page will show CRS action based in use and then here right now what we are doing uh, whatever scan source path that we have read for the page level that will copy the document level and then from a document uh, then also from a page level scan source path we we'll also create a page level file name one variable as we create the document level scan source path we'll also create a uh, document level file name variable further we'll split the scan source path which is present from a document level we'll con we'll split it into file level root format file root what is a file root what is a file path what is a file name and then what is a file extension this will help us to in recreating uh, your searchable PDF exactly a document title uh, this is what we said your document title is nothing but document title is nothing but we have uh, we will read the page level uh, scan search bar into the current value will be placed into this one get file name will be created then we are setting from a, a scan source path to the page level document title and then we'll read we'll, we'll read the page level variable value which is document level now this action will actually place you can see that we have now used the action actually but we have used the function this one let me check it once again what are we to do with you yeah, I recognize. I've used it. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, this is where I'm talking about. No, we did not use document data, but yeah, we have used the file path. Uh, okay. In a file path, the whatever path that we have used from uh, this one document dot f path that will set into file path variable. Uh, file path variable we read the value we'll read the input location exactly and after slash whatever comes that will read it so if you remember what i'm saying right now i'm saying nothing but this location exactly the images input folder our image will be placed here correct now since this doesn't contain let's say any long a, a very huge information very huge document item but uh, after slash you read the input then you read this name so here the name will be like letter dot pdf will be read and they will update the field so this file path will be updated next uh, we'll clean by default one validate we are validating validate i don't think so we have used document at all because of all the logic is placed on the file path if so we did not use the document title yes perfect uh, routing is by default again diff to pdf this is again important stuff this will help it this will help us to recreate the non-searchable document uh, non-searchable page non-searchable page to a searchable page and this we have applied at the document level so once we have all these pages present will simply merge them will merge them like this is it merge them like let's say uh, 
uh, uh, all the main page and trailing page will be merged together and then they will be set let me run this new run advance initially created advance I'll go to my batches folder my new batch this is the old image control F say the name of uh, Sarika is unable to find I'll open the searchable one control F Sarika see I'm able to search so this is how we convert it from uh, a non-searchable is control F Sarika I'm not able to find uh, to searchable one control F so this is the very simple application if you have any query okay one more thing uh, before uh, going out before closing this uh, into images I don't think so I do have a done folder okay what you can do exactly actually uh, you can place one action which I just uh, I do have a present in this application I just did not commit that one uh, where is that one? Yeah, the way what I did here, like uh, file copy, there are some um, operations by the file I O we have provided. Yeah, uh, once you have images with you, you can simply copy your file from your export location. Sorry, not export but your batches folder your current batch directory this this image exactly like your batch id dot pdf file that you can copy it to a uh, done folder done folder either images a done folder or let's say your export folder or whatever where you want to wherever you want to uh, process or you want to keep that file and actually you, know, you can use them uh, once you've done your action so, uh, thanks thanks for watching the video if you are any queen, do like me. Thanks. Once again, thanks.